LeBron James is one of the best players in NBA history, and his domination on the court has extended beyond the confines of the sport. In his 19th season, James is still a top 5 player in the game, and he's adding to his Hall of Fame resume on a consistent basis. The King has won 4 MVP awards, 4 Finals MVP awards, and 4 NBA championships with 3 different teams. Each and every place LeBron went, he helped build a title contender. However, when you look back on LeBron's career, you can see that he had a similar influence to Michael Jordan in that he prevented a large number of elite plays from winning NBA titles. It was the renowned Chicago Bulls star who was responsible for legends such as Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing, and Karl Malone finishing their Hall of Fame careers with no rings in their respective franchises. During his time with the Cavaliers, Heat, and Lakers, James was also responsible for a large number of all-star performers going without a championship ring. Without any further ado, welcome to part one of the 10 players that were unable to win a title because of LeBron James and his championship teams. In the number 10 spot, we have Al Horford. Al Horford was a superb big man with both offensive and defensive abilities, but he never had much luck against the King squads. Horford and Paul Millsap were unable to overcome a dominant LeBron James during his prime years of 2015 to 2018, as the King was hell-bent on delivering championships to the Cavaliers organization that chose him on the first round. Of course, LeBron would go on to win the championship in 2016. Despite the fact that Horford was not a slouch in any of the series mentioned above, he lacked the superstar talent that LeBron possessed on the floor. Also worth mentioning is the fact that James received assistance from Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love for the majority of those triumphs against the Hawks and for the 2017 victory against the Celtics. In the number 9 spot we have Joe Johnson. Many people forget how good Joe Johnson was when he was at his peak since he was a true all-star who could put up 20 points per game while sleeping. In the late 2000s and early 2010s, ISO Joe was a strong shooter who could also create his own offense, and he was instrumental in making the Hawks a difficult team to beat. Johnson, on the other hand, was unable to beat the best player in the NBA in LeBron in 2009, and he was swept. Johnson was acquired as part of the Brooklyn Nets' effort to win now at the price of a first-round pick, as a part of their attempt to construct a super team with Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, and Derek Williams, among others. The Brooklyn Nets were plainly past their prime, as a rejuvenated LeBron James and the Miami Heat super team annihilated them in five games. In the number 8 spot, we have Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony, one of the best scorers in history, brought a great deal of enthusiasm to New York, even if it did not result in much success in the playoffs. With the likes of Amari Stoudemire and Tyson Chandler playing alongside him, the superstar forward found himself on a respectable squad in 2012. Unfortunately for Melo, he was matched up against LeBron James and the Miami Heat in the first round of the playoffs. The 2012 season served as a period of redemption for the King, who had been humiliated by Dirk Nowitzki and the Mavericks in the finals of the season before. James wreaked havoc on the Knicks, averaging 27.8 points per game, 6.2 rebounds per game, and 5.6 assists per game while making 47.8% of his field goal attempts. Anthony finished with 27.8 points per game and 8.2 rebounds per game on 41.9% shooting, but it just wasn't enough. LeBron James led the Lakers to a victory over the Trailblazers in the first round of the 2020 Western Conference playoffs, thereby eliminating Carmelo Anthony from the postseason for the second time in three seasons. In the number 7 spot we have Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose, one of the most athletic players in the NBA and a superstar whose heyday was cut short by injuries, helped the Bulls establish themselves as a legitimate playoff contender. Unfortunately for Rose and the Bulls, they found themselves up against LeBron James and his talented team on a frequent basis. The first defeat came while James was in Cleveland, and at the time, the King was unquestionably the best player in the NBA. The league's most valuable player, Rose, led an exceptionally talented group of players to the Eastern Conference Finals. But unfortunately for the Bulls, they ran against James and the Miami Heat, who would go on to win the championship. The Bulls came close to defeating the Big Three Heatles, but they were unable to complete the comeback. Finally, when the King came to Cleveland, Rose went up against James and was defeated in six games to end the series. In the number six spot we have Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry would have had to wait patiently for the opportunity to win his first NBA title, and it happened during the 2019 season when he shared the court with Kawhi Leonard and the Toronto Raptors. Lowry, on the other hand, had been repeatedly falling short in the playoffs for the previous three years, mostly as a result of the dominating presence of LeBron James. In the aftermath of their ability to contain James, Raptors came under fire from various quarters, with many believing that they feared and revered the King too much. Toronto never really put up much of a fight against LeBron's Cavaliers, regardless of whether or not the King's teammates were fully healthy. 
Fortunately for Lowry, these postseason series were quickly forgotten by him. So guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to our channel for more banger videos just like this. I'll see you guys next time and have a great day. Peace.